In these problems, we have some sets of graphs, and we need to look at these graphs and decide which one fits with a story. I think the best way to approach this is to look at the graphs first and see if we can figure out kind of the story that each of these graphs tells. Uh, this first one has speed along the y-axis and time along the x-axis. So as you move from left to right, what that says is how your speed is changing over time. If you start up pretty high on the y-axis, it means you're going fast. If you're sloping down, that means you're slowing down. If you've got a straight line, a straight horizontal line, that means your speed is staying the same, staying constant. Um, so this person was going pretty fast, slowed down, stayed the same for a little while, and then slowed down some more. This person stayed the same at a pretty pokey speed for a while, then sped up pretty quickly, and then sped up a little less quickly. This person slowed down, stayed the same, slowed down some more. This person sped up, stayed the same for a long time, and then slowed down. Let's read the story and see if we can tell which one this is. It says Joe begins his jogging workout by running faster and faster. Okay, so speeding up for about a minute. And once he hits a comfortable pace, he runs at that pace for several minutes, so stays steady for a while. And then he gradually slows down to a stop. So that looks pretty much like this one. So I think this is the graph that fits that story. Let's try another. So over here, we have on the y-axis, we have distance to Mark's house. So if you're high up on the y-axis, your distance is great. You're far away from Mark's house. If you're sloping down, you're getting closer. If you're sloping up, you're getting further away. And if you're flat, you're staying the same distance from Mark's house. So let's read the story. It says, John is delivering pizza to Mark's house. He drives at a constant speed towards the house. So if he's driving toward the house, he's getting closer. So his distance to the house has got to be decreasing until he hits a traffic jam and has to stop for several minutes. So if you're stopped for several minutes, your distance is going to stay exactly the same. So you're just going to flatline it for a while. And then after he starts up again and drives at a faster speed than before. So presumably getting closer to, to Mark's house at a faster speed. So our graph should look something like this. And that is awful close to this one here. So approaching the house, getting stuck in the traffic jam, and then driving faster towards the house. I think it's got to be that one. So that is how to choose the graph that fits with a story.